morning, everyone. Right now, we're in Oyantay Tambo. I am staying in the place called Stone House. Actually, it seems like a lot of the things in this town are made of stone. The wall, the ground, and all this small little road inside the village. All the small alley, like this, is all stone. Up there, we can already see the ruins. Oyantai Tambo! Oyantai Tambo! Yeah. <laughs> so the names is quite cute to hear, but it's hard to actually pronounce. Right now, we're at the main square. It's a really small town. We can walk around in just less than an hour. Around the main square, they have so many shops, restaurants and cafes. Yesterday when we got here, we tried one restaurant, but a little bit off the main square. Let's go see. It's a really, really light living day. Yeah. Oh, it's mint. Yeah? Yeah, it's mint. He handed us Wi-Fi password. That's kind of cool. Alpaca fur. Quite nice. We here, especially just for pizza. So, this one come with the set. We order like a large pizza and the lemonade. Mm, this is nice. Love garlic bread. Crispy, but not so dry. Right off that clay oven. Gracias. So we got two flavors, Hawaiian and pepperoni. Local. It quite, yeah, it looks quite local. I'm not used to the pizza that looks like this, but I'm so ready to dive in. You can see it's straight up fire cooked. Nah. Oh, it's so thin. Super thin. For real. That's good. The lot of cheese. The ham. A little weird. It's like... It's not, not, really it's like not American ham. ham. Mm -hmm. But this is so good. And good deal also. Everything we got here. The juice, the garlic bread, the pizza. 30 solids. Just like wum 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 gone. <laughs> it's one bite. You know the rule. Not bad. It doesn't taste like anything like American. But. We just asked for the chili sauce. Spicy? Ooh. Vinegary again. Last night we also had some tea, hot tea, with that lady over there. Tastes like lime and yeah. Else. Also, we have a really like interesting one dollar alpaca barbecue. I like that a lot. Really good. Yeah. Oh, real deal. Peruvian street food. This one is a uh, barbecue apaga. We got it from that store. Three smell this. Tail's cold. I don't know. It looks so good. A little less than a dollar of group alpaca. Why every time they have to do it salty? Wow. Would be so good with that potato that I just gave it. Potato <laughs> was good with it. <laughs> The red sign and green sign, the traffic sign, still pretty old school. Hola, hola. Y queso? Queso, falta huevo. Have egg too. Yeah, I'll take an egg, I guess. Egg. 
Una con huevo coja. Ya. Yeah. ¿Algo más? Um, con aguacate. Our breakfast for today. Quinoa drink. And this one is a sandwich, like really simple sandwich with avocado inside. And what he got is egg inside. Everything is one so, one so, one so. One so all you can eat or something. It's quite nice. All the locals eat here. Not all the locals, but the locals eat here. Mmm. Did they put salt in my? Simple. You know. Mmm. Sour. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Now it makes sense how this. <laughs> how this is a little bit like sour and sweet. It's quinoa, apple, and pineapple all together. Three things. And they drink it warm. Quite nice because the weather is quite like cozy, cooling, kinda. in Oyantai Tambo. Let me show you where it is. We're walking down the small little road over here. No one's here. First thing first, strawberry field. Forever. <laughs> and they're actually picking the story right now. A lot of people help me. Almost the end of the road right here. Like Right there is going to be the train station already. Down there, one more hotel. And here, there's a farm. Shoppy. Super shoppy. <laughs> oi, 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 oi. It come to me. Another thing that we actually have to get used to. Falling in love with it. Wear it. Eat it. <laughs> This is super cute. We also made a new friend. Doggy, come! This is even nicer. No cage, no nothing. Go, Kip, go! Go, Kip, go! I'm scared. Ah! This one is not even leashed. Here we distill cañazo. Cañazo is one of the oldest spirits in North America. It's making from the sugar cane juice fermentation. It's alcohol with the charcoal. Okay. So we recover this uh, charcoal, we clean it and we dry it into the sun, no? and then we use it for this process. Okay. The charcoal absorbs the acidness and the sourness of the spirit and makes it smoother. You're gonna see that it's the base of this. Whoa. <laughs> There's no flavor really. You can taste the alcohol and that's it. Or yeah. you can't taste it, you just feel it. Wow. Yeah, but it's very smooth. Wow, right? Wow, that's like the smoothest I've ever had. That's no flavor. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Right? Okay. Let me try this one. I don't know. I think I'll, <laughs> I'll be dead after this. <laughs> like, um, I got the Asian flush where I drink just a little bit and then I get all red and then I itchy. And... Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, my, my brother have the same. Yeah? He became red. Uh, now he don't drink nothing. <laughs> so, Matakui is the reason why we start with the distillery. Uh, Matakui means guinea pig killer. We actually had a chance to try all this. Everything is way too strong for me. I was just like, ah! It was nice to see the process they're making and actually see like what's happening in here. My first time seeing something like this. This one go like a 80, 100, and then 160 solace which is not expensive at all for like the handcraft like this. They doing it by hand and all this in the house. Super cool. Another cool one. That one, the story. And then the next door. Raw coffee bean over here. Roasting machine. Oh, that. oh that's like uh, roasted already. Mm. The coffee is from Yabamba. This is like actually quite some time to make this little cup since it's to like on the bean, grind it, and then to clean everything. Have to wait until that like exact 91 degrees Celsius and then Caribbean like Cusco old style of coffee making. Now I asked for the light roasted one. 
This is good, I like it. It's good. <laughs> We're so glad we found this place, like really glad. There's a farm for us to enjoy, all the nature with the mountains surrounding us, all the alpaca. Those like, some of them are not even leashed. We tried a really nice coffee. We got like four right here. Four of them, four. 100 solis. They have that coffee shop just right here by the railway. It looks pretty nice. Also, they have the restaurant of the farm. El Albergue? Right here. Now, let's see if I can pet. This, this is not the friendly one, it looks like. Maybe. It's From this one. one. The one on the left. Yeah, it's pet. It's like a dog. <gasps> this is not soft. Yeah, Up here is soft, but down there is not so soft. Oh my god! Ah, ah! You bite me! No, it's grooming. The eyes so huge! The eyes like this! So cute! I love alpaca now, but like at the same time, when we see alpaca steak again, I'll be like, ah, we don't have it in Thailand, can we eat it? Alpaca burger. <laughs> I kind of want it. Another restaurant is right by the river. The river is right below there. And believe it or not, another wood fire pizza. Somehow it's just a thing here in Oyantai Tambo. Pizza, burger, every single restaurant. Alpaca burger! First one ever. Gracias! You oh, excited one this morning too? Yeah, we're friends and then. Oh, weird. the patty is pretty like mushy somehow. It might have bread in it. it. Absorbs all the juices though. This set with lemonade. 18 solids. Another local street food right here at the main square. Oh, solo uno por favor. Quien vino? Quien vino? Se va a poner más normal ese mojo. Oh. Oh. Really good guacamole. It's like guacamole and salsa, but at the same time, it's not that smash. It's still like pieces, which I like. Simple, local. Like okay. it. Mm, this thing is still warm. Another type of potato right here. They have more than 3,000 types of potato here in Peru. Two soles for this. Less than a dollar. Are we friends now or what? Yeah. <laughs> bye bye! I love you! <laughs>